let's see. Alright, I think that's... There we go. <clears throat> Make sure the chat's up. Alright. Whew. Let's get started with chapter four. <clears throat> Let's see, one biometal last time. And a war fiend the first time. I guess I'll wear a shadow walker this time. Let's go gold. Using the bow for now. <clears throat> nope, I was wrong. Unless these are. No, that's a jewel of the demon seal. Okay. Oh, I am gonna have to use the bow. <clears throat> No, I'm not. Here we go. I think that's it. Cool. All right. Um. Hello, Cthulhu. You actually caught me at the beginning of a stream for once. Admittedly, because I'm starting like an hour later than I usually do, but. Wow. Giant bats OP. Please nerf. That works.
That kind of sucks that you can get hit during that animation. <clears throat> Let's use this guy. And if it's bats, then I can just you see them, right? Actually worked out quite much in my favor. Hello, Skillix. Let's see if I can get this skull without messing up. Oh, cool. Oh. Hang on. Let me let me change something real quick. Increase that. Yeah, that's much better. Um, so, I've been playing the PC version of Team Fortress 2 a lot, and I suck at the mouse and keyboard, so I just enabled controller use and just used the same controller I used for my 360. And I have the sensitivity on it turned all the way up. Just... This is just a weird little thing, I guess, to say. <clears throat> I play the PC version with max sensitivity, and I actually usually do pretty well until I run into someone who's really good. Oh boy. Else are kind of weak sauce. I've killed so many damn Van Gelfs since the last chapter started. Uh, that's not right. Um, I think I got everything right. Shoot, by the time I get to the next test of Valor, I might have... No, I'm not going to have full of those, but I'll have... I still have that. Ooh. I may want to actually push forward ahead enough to get to the Muramasa shop and invest in... some grains. Man. Oh, let me see. The Brumax were... <sighs> Those were the giant things that... You... That were bullet, basically bullet sponges, right? I don't remember my Gears 3 very well. Even though I really liked Gears 3. Oh, yes, 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 I remember. Like, they were... Like, there was one that was mutated by the uh, emulsion that was the last... Like, the boss, sort of, at the end of um, Gears 2, right? Oh. 
now. Oh, that's not good. Shit. Whew. Risky. Where's the other one? Sup, Cthulhu. Um, right. <clears throat> oh, thank goodness, there's a save point coming up. And I can go ahead and use all of these up. chest down there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get put some of this chest down here. Ow. Yep, bad decision. Oh, damn, the save point's really far back. That's right, we're at the part of the game where the save points are get further and further apart. Maybe I should just consider hitting the save point and then not bo not worrying about it because the boss is one, the boss is not that hard, but two, um, he's gonna be a checkpoint. It's not that they're too strong, I think. It's so much as there's just too many of them. Because this part here has those same ones, and they're just they're only like two or three at a time, and they're really not hard to avoid. I say right as I get hit. Ow. Nope, still one. Did I get them both? Huh. Actually got them both with that UT. I will be getting that gold mouth from beating Master Ninja. Because I'm going to beat Master Ninja, goddammit. Funny enough, I'm actually only like one letter away from that being the title of this stream. <laughs> Master Ninja, goddammit. <laughs> and then I already have the skull. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jump down straight this way. I don't think I'm going to need the grains. Wait, did I ever get... Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I got the chest at the end and had essence this time. Lunar! Cool. Shit. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna make it this time. Yep. Oh, it sucks when you can see your death coming. Yeah. Man. Started playing Bayonetta again not too long ago, and it's a lot easier than I remember. But then again, I've also been playing this, so... <laughs> this, and Bloodborne, and Dark Souls, and Ninja Gaiden Black, and... All those games that are probably solidly in a tier higher than Bayonetta, at least on its default difficulty. Alright, I'm gonna actually save after I do this fight. Is that it? Okay. Alright, now I'm not gonna have to do that fight again. I hope. So the Silver Noble, uh, I, back when I was, there was a time when I first got my 360 where um, the Orange Box was one of my only games and thus um, Team Fortress 2 is one of my only multiplayer shooters. And I played it a lot. And Silver Noble is one of those guys that I friended from around that time. And he was probably, he was one of the best console soldiers I probably ever played with. You guys should start having an exclusive conversation in the chat that just completely pretends I'm not here. Those are always entertaining to look back at, right? Alright, um... Right.
Yeah. Oh. I should also go back and say after I do the van the bottom of the dog I'll fight. It's not hard, but it's a pain to do it again. And then there's a save point right after this second this Van Gal fight. And gets a coddles. Ugh. Right, I already got all that stuff. Maybe I should go ahead and Dragon Sword just in case for for the chest, because last I checked I have to open that right now. Tricky, tricky, tricky song. I, I don't know. I don't pay attention much to music outside of the genres that I prefer. And almost all of the genres I prefer are some um, subgenre of metal. So. Although I do really like the Foo Fighters. Basically anything with guitar based riffing I'll probably find enjoyable. Provided it has clean vocals or mostly clean vocals. With like one or two exceptions. Power metal goes a big guilty pleasure. I mean, I, I suppose there is some talk about whether they're technically power metal or not. But Dragon Force is a huge guilty pleasure, especially since they got their new singer, and I think they're actually kind of decent. <laughs> but I mean, like Blind Guardian, uh, some Camelot, things like that. I do enjoy those. I also enjoy my Slayer and Anthrax, Metallica. Megadeth before before Dave Mustaine got sober and <laughs> Oh shit I got distracted by all this metal talk. <laughs> um, what's another really good one? For power metal, at least. Iced Earth kind of straddles the edge between power, thrash, and traditional, I guess. You have to really, you have to not mind the fact that they use gallops a lot, though. They use gallop riffs like Metallica uses uh, eighth note while muting. Which actually makes it a lot more tolerable when I think about it that way, because it's like, yeah, a lot of bands use uh, eighth note palm muting, so no sense getting upset about it. Hammerfall. I only have two Hammerfall albums. I wasn't impressed with one of them. I don't remember what it was called. It was... It was... It, the first song on it is by any means necessary. And it ends in a really bad cover of My Sharona, which, granted, I don't like that song anyway, so I'm not going to find any cover of it good, probably. I, 
I do like, um, I do really like their album Infected, though. That album I actually find really cool. And there, don't get me wrong, there are a few songs I find good on that other album. But, I don't know. Something about them just doesn't strike me as enjoyable, for whatever reason. I love the damned. Dia de los muertos. You know? I think Infected's a pretty damn cool album. But they also have, like, elements of, uh, doom in there. And doom metal is a fantastic genre, so... Ow. Stop messing up the UTs. I actually don't listen to Tool, but what I have heard of Tool, I do like. I think my favorite genre is actually probably progressive metal, but really only insofar as bands like Fate's Warning and Seventh Wonder. Oh, shoot. Oh. You. Ugh. I didn't follow my own advice and go and... Dream Theater is considered progressive. Um, Dream Theater, what they tend to do, though, is more of a... They have their song, maybe it's structured a little weird, and they'll go off on... I call them musical tangents. Basically, they'll start doing kind of like jazz-ish kind of extended sequences of instrumentation. And... You know, some people like that. I personally find it hit or miss. I prefer my music to have a purpose to it. Um, Seventh Wonder is a Swedish band. They have... Um, their singer is Tommy Karavik, who's the current singer of Camelot. And they... Um, their music is also progressive, but and their progressive style tends to be a bit less on the uh, musical tangent side and more of a it's just how their songs are structured. I'm, I'm assuming that since you didn't put a kappa, that's not sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, I actually saw them live uh, a few months ago with Dragon Force opening. Rip my ears. Ugh. 
Ugh. Uh, someone has clearly never been to a music concert. <laughs> they, like, literally, Dragon Force started by playing Fury of the Storm, and they were so damn loud that, um, the singer sounded, like, you know how, uh, if you turn up something too loud... Or if the sound quality is really bad, think something will sound fuzzy. It was producing that effect where the singer sounded fuzzy, not because the sound quality was bad. The sound sound quality was actually quite fine, but they were so loud they sounded fuzzy, <laughs> and my ear was actually physically in pain. It was bad. It was, it was like the kind of volume you would use for an open air venue. And it was in, it was like it was the Fillmore. It was enclosed. And the Camelot wasn't if Camelot was quieter, they weren't much quieter. <laughs> so earplugs are Cause the only other concerts I've been to, I've been to I've seen Machine Head live. And that was actually a really good show. And, um... I was at the back, and it was in the House of Blues. So it was kind of loud, but it wasn't that bad. And then the first concert I ever went to was Megadeth, Anthrax, and Slayer. Um, Slayer played all of Seasons of the Abyss. No, not Seasons. Was it Seasons? Um, I think it was Seasons, the one that starts with the War Ensemble. Yeah. Pretty sure that was it. And um, I forgot to go and save again. Damn it. Why? Okay. And Megadeth played all of uh, Rust in Peace. Because it was like the... I think it was, what, the 20th anniversary of those albums? And then Anthrax was Anthrax. And they, th they had like just gotten Joey Belladonna back for their, as their singer, so they were... They were set. Why do you keep doing that, Ryu? Well, a concert isn't that bad. All you have to do is remember to bring some sort of ear protection, and you'll be fine. Because the concert's still a very good experience to have. Now, I will say, one concert, I would want to see Blind Guardian live. I'm sure they only play big open venues, but that's a concert I would want to go to. Um, I would want to see Seventh Wonder live, only the only time they're going to play live is as like part of Power Prog USA, which is in Georgia, and I wouldn't be able to go to that. 
Plus, since Tommy Karavik is the singer and Camelot is pretty much always touring. Yeah. So that was a fun little digression. Um, yeah. But I mean, another thing that might be a bit of a barrier for a concert is you're there for like three or four hours and it costs a lot of money. I won't pretend concerts are not expensive. Yeah, dude, um, you should go to concerts, though, if you really want to support a band, because that's where they, that's where they're going to make most of their money outside of, like, merchandise. Oh, yeah, another one I've seen. I've seen Joe Satriani live. I'm gonna go save. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna remember. To, I'm gonna remember to do that this time. All right. Oh Jesus. Oh yeah, you can just take the ladder down, or you can do that. There we go. I'm not sure that made much sense in terms of momentum, but whatever. This Van Gelf fight is going to be rough. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, if you link it, I might be able to take a peek at it in a moment. Assuming it's on YouTube. I know it's a little bit presumptuous to assume that everything is on YouTube, but I mean, I found a Doom, a Doom band that has a CD out that doesn't have a Wikipedia page, so... you. That was kind of questionable in my opinion, but a little late to do anything about it. That one was yellowish brownish. Gold? <laughs> Gold tends to be that kind of color. Like if like if you took gold and it didn't luster, it would be that. Falconer? Is that the name of the band? Because that sounds familiar. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, I probably want to use that Jewel of the Demon Seal I just got on the Windblades, especially since the Piercing Void is a really long time away right now. Yeah, Falconer sounds really familiar for, for some reason. Um, I 
I'll give it one more go, and if if this doesn't work out, then I'll upgrade them. Alright. Oh, come on. You. Get out of here. And Ghost Hopper is pretty good. Personally, my favorite Camelot album is Karma. Wasn't in Ninja Gaiden 3 though, wasn't the Nimpo like Okay, so in some sections it was required to actually finish the fight. And it killed and its function only function was to kill everything on screen and heal you. Because it turned you into a fire dragon and ate people. Ninja Gaiden 3 struck me as them taking a decidedly non-artsy game and trying to make it a bit more artsy. Which had horrible results. And that's the best way I can describe I can think to describe it. Alright. I'll go ahead and use that on the wind blades and get them to level three. Hopefully I don't need Inferno to be level two for the next um, test of valor. Oh, that's right. Well, that lasted long. I forgot that I forgot that level 3, for whatever reason, circles around you rather than shooting out like level two, 1 and 2 do. Even though that's like what makes level 3 Windblade so awesome. hold off again because I honestly don't remember there's strategies for each um, test of valor and I don't remember the strategy for any of the other ones but I know some require some ask you to use art of the inferno some ask you to use piercing void some ask you to use uh, wind blades and none of them ask you to use fire phoenix because fire phoenix you are going down I really need to target these guys first. Oh, fuck you. Stop trying to get up in the air. sounds about right. I 
at least fire wheels had even fire wheels had its uses in uh, Ninja Gaiden Black, even though it only its use was basically this is the first Nimpo, first and only Nimpo you have for the first couple chapters, and it'll stop Ghostfish from biting you. That's about it. Yeah, basically... Hmm. Oh! F I was... spamming the buttons for... um... Nimpo, and apparently it didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, if that works on Acolyte, it's not gonna be that nice on Master Ninja. <sighs> At least as far as I know. It's tricky because the dragon or wait, the gold dragons as in I don't I'm assuming you mean the dragons that can't be uh delimbed. See, this, this is the weird thing. This combat system is based around delimbing things, and then you have one, then you have the couple enemies like dogs and dragons that can't be delimbed. Uh, did that kill him? Yep. Oh, sweet. Alright. Okay. Stop dodging- stop dodging my OT. <laughs> Take care of, yep. All the gets coddles are gone. Yeah, if you're curious, I'm actually not using Wind Path much because um, when there are too many enemies, it's there's like no guarantee that it'll go towards the one you want it to. Neo is definitely on my radar. What games I want to play. Hang on.
Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go save now. Wait, no, there's a save point up here. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna run all the way back to the save point just to go up the ladder and use the save point. Oh, too many dragons. Ow. Oh, way to miss the UT. Stop it! I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, if I can, can I? Yes, I can. I actually didn't know you could do that. Okay, but you can't walk, oh, you even passed through that beam there. Okay, I'm gonna try to backtrack and refill on um, incendiary shuriken. It, I'll put it this way, it looks like the sort of game that I can expect the new, the current Team Ninja to not screw up. And also, if you, it's actually, it's Wikipedia page is actually very interesting too. Um, apparently the game is based on a script from a famous Japanese filmmaker. And it's been... It's been, um, I guess, technically in development for, like, 13 years, but they've only recently put Team Ninja on it. But yeah, it looks very interesting. I remember first seeing it, and I was like, this looks like Dark Souls kind of meets Ninja Gaiden, and then people were like, no, only Musha, and I was like, okay, I'm not fighting these guys again. Wow. But yeah, it's on my radar. It looks like it'd be a it looks like it has potential. And as in terms of like I don't know if I would trust the current team ninja to make another ninja gaiden, but a game like that, I'm sure they could handle. That boss was so hard. Hurry. 
<laughs> yeah, if the Lunar was level 3, it would have done a lot more damage. You know, it might be possible that the ninjas might have been there, but, in fact, I think they're supposed to be there, but because I stayed so close to them, I, don't, I guess they just never got a chance to actually shoot me. Because I, I pretty much stayed around his feet the whole time, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Because if I remember correctly... Oh, oh, hello. He does have minions in Chapter 8. Who knows, we might see it now, because I'm going to have to redo that fight. Because of the stupid... These stupid things, which I'm kind of tempted to just upgrade their wind nimbo to be done with them. Or to skip it. I'd rather not skip any fights, but I might. <laughs> That's the thing about this boss, is he's actually really easy to avoid. It's easy to avoid all of his attacks, but if he does hit you, bye-bye health bar. If I remember correctly, the 360Y on the um, Falcon Talons does a good bit of damage. And then run this way and hope I don't get hit. <sighs> you missed. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, those guys can... Ooh. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then you actually have to kill them in order to kill the enemies that spawn around him in order to um, finish that fight. The fight includes him, but also the other guys. Shoot, since that uh, since the Xbox thing is coming up, I'm just gonna use my Nempo on the uh Crits of Quarrels. I mean I already kinda was, but I'm gonna not be so concerned with uh
so basically what I think we've all gotten out of this is that that's actually a pretty easy fight on Master Ninja. What? You guys saw that, right? Shit. I saw it coming and I could, couldn't do anything about it. Please drop. Thank you. Alright, is it just him left? Yep. One of them I can handle. Presumably. You know, the Quetzalcoatls do a lot more damage than the Van Gels, though. <laughs> so. I'm, like, concerned about the amount of health I have right now. I'm very concerned. Please let me save. <sighs> okay. Did I just get three kills with that? Oh, four kills with one UT. Cool. Oh, that's right. It only heals you. It doesn't recover your Nimpo. I thought it recovered your Nimpo for whatever reason. Probably because the one in the in Ninja Gaiden Black does that. And, uh, hello? There we go. Whatever. Um, let's see what this test of valor is before I um, decide to rush ahead for the to upgrade the the uh, Dragon Claw Tiger's Fang. Oh. Oh, that's easy. That's easy as shit. Okay. You. I cut off the wrong arm. Yeah, there's a very simple trick for the uh, zombies. Throw a shuriken at them... From their right side, it'll knock it should knock off their cannon arm. Uh it took out the leg.
All right. Now that they've all been decannoned, all I have to do is deal with the little guys. Maybe I shouldn't use those. Yeah, I'm gonna refrain from using the Shibuya or Shuriken on the um, on on <laughs> the little skeleton things now. I like how the strategy, if you think about it, really is kind of the same. Deal in the enemies you can, and then say fuck off to the rest. I'm just glad they didn't include a time bonus aspect of... At least they didn't display a time bonus aspect on the... On the bar here. I do wish these... That the uh, zombies were to actually... They're actually faster <laughs> without their arms, it looks like. What? That damage, though. Um. Okay. I mean, the Lunar is definitely the best weapon to use here. Yes, thank you. I know it's an embarrassing way to die. <laughs> To be fair, though, those things do a lot of damage to you at this amount of health. Yeah, I forgot how easy this test of valor was. Motherfucker knows how to abuse his iframes. Uh, is that it? No, he's over there. All right. Now that they've all lost their cannons.
you. Wow, I literally have full health right now. Here, let's use let's use those. How did that miss? Whatever. That's a solid, what, fifth, sixth of my health bar? Just kill. Cool. I've gotten the zombies grouped together. these things there are. Almost out of arrows. Shit. 
Okay. Where is he? No more cannon arm for you. Holy shit. It's like there's only so much I can really do if they just keep spawning. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be able to completely upgrade the dual swords. Kind of ridiculous. There better not be that many zombies with how many of these things there are. Is that it? Hallelujah, that's it. Unfortunately, they're so damn easy to kill. Um, there he is. Granted, though, if they ever hit me, I'm fucked. How goes Master Ninja? Oh, you know, second test of Valor. This is third try? Second or third try? It's because I was just surprised by how hard the little skeleton. Th oh! Spider things hit. I'm not gonna take a chance. Who's next? Yeah, I was just saying earlier how the strategy in this seems to be surprisingly fairly similar. 
Only instead of legs, you want to take out the cannon arm. There he is. Oh boy. There's a little bit of a panic moment when you hit them and they don't lose a leg. I'm getting a good bit of essence from these all these OTs. But I've also been very... I've been very good about conserving my item use. I don't tend to... Wait, is that it? There's gotta be... There he is. No? One, two, three... That's it! Cool. I have no idea how much else you actually get for an OT kill. Cool. Now I have a talisman. Alright. Yeah, I honestly don't know how much essence I was getting per OT, because I wasn't actually paying attention to that. But yeah, I'm happy to say that was a very, a fairly easy test of Valor. Go ahead and get those back. And these are still level 1, so I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the Falcon Talons. I plan on using the dual swords for the boss fight and for, um... boss fight, and for most of the next chapter. <laughs> okay. Thank you, generous his boxes. Ooh! So much for the UT I was gonna do. Technically, it's not the Blade of the Archfiend yet. Well, that's one way to do that. They will be soon, huh? Not sure what to think of that. Alright, let's go get that mushroom. If I remember correctly, it's a mushroom. After killing this guy.
Fair enough. No 360 healing. Yeah, I'm gonna go 360 heal. But I don't... I was gonna try to conserve on the amount of trips I take back. Besides, I wanted that mushroom. And it's not like one bad gulf is exactly a threat. <laughs> so... Not very many individual enemies in this game are threats. Uh, hello. 360. Then. Save. Duh. Yeah. I'm actually sitting quite pretty right now, aren't I? Like, I've got one grains, which, granted, that could be better. The purple one? Like, I'm pretty sure the... The ones you're referring to are Van Gelf's. Pretty sure. Unless you're talking about the dragons. The actual dragons. Like, the Van Gelfs have the purple fire and they punch you and all that crap. Honestly, the only reason they're even a threat in numbers is because they have... Yeah, the only way they're a threat is in numbers. No, I'm not going for a high karma score. I'm just trying to beat it. If I was going for a high karma score, I would go with... Um, I'd probably try to do full UTs every time. Yeah, Scalex, that, I think that's more or less how it's spelled. Maybe without the H, I don't remember. <sighs> Purple ones are called Van Gels. Gold ones are called Quetzalcoatl. I have no idea what the green ones are called. Here, let's go ahead and equip this and have that be what I have. Farm Ghost Fish. Uh, no. No thank you. I'm alright. I'm also pretty set on Karma right- or on, uh, Essence right now. I wonder, is there- like, can you do- yep. I was like, wait. Surely there's a way to do this faster. There it was. I love how the enemies are actually dumb enough to let you charge a first level UT in this game. Ow. Oh boy. I kind of thought he was going to grab me for a moment there. Well, 
not much of a fan when they do that. Um. Okay. Oh, I'm on the last two. Yeah, seriously, that face won the UT. <laughs> what if I... I wonder what the level 1 dual swords will do. Normally what I do with the... Um, the, worm, the bugs before the death worm... With those, I tend to u charge a UT with the incendiary shuriken. Yeah, I'm glad to see I can do that. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. Claws? Seriously? I don't know. These are actually doing pretty well. Oh. sucked. Even at level 1, these things are awesome. Alright. I got like 400 from a Van Gel, so I highly doubt that the OT, that the OTs I did on the Chainsaw Zombies were only worth 200. Granted, I'm sure there was a um, combo bonus applied to that as well. Should have gone back. Should have just backtracked. Whatever. Yeah, what they're supposed to, what they if they don't have projectiles that can stop you, what they usually do is um if they can't do something to stop you, they tend to try to stay out of your UT out of the UT's charge range because every UT, almost every UT has a range where it just kind of lurches, it shoots you forward. I'll use claws later. I actually use the claws to help me against um, 
I mean, I used them to help me against the zombies, so I feel like it's time to give other weapons some use. Why won't you? I don't understand. Oh. Not doing that again. Let's let's go with the claws. <laughs> yeah. I still have to highlight that moment from yesterday where the um, two Van Gels were stuck in the fans. That was really... <laughs> that was like 10 out of 10 AI. Wait, can you just... I don't think you can. You can over here, though. I swear, that's my new favorite way to do that. I tried to dodge. As soon as I press the button to Yes! What? What? Oh, hello, chest that I missed before. my coffee the heat from um, keeping my coffee warm uh, turning off in fact I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually go and get some coffee go ahead and uh, go back and heal up and save so I don't have to fight those Van Gelfs again yeah I think I have to say I think the dual swords against non-human enemies is probably one of my favorite UTs, just because of how useless and useful it is. It really eats through the like hands. Alright, I'm going to get my coffee.
Okay, that's a really weird experience. How useless it is. Uh, it's more like... It's, it's more like, um... I stream in my living room. And I live... Right now I'm living in a trailer. A double wide trailer because my, um... I'm here because my girlfriend is going to grad school, and we're just living here temporarily while she's in grad school, because neither of us live originally in this state. So, that's what's going on. So the kitchen is literally, like, right there, and I'm in the living room. It's more like one big room. And I mean, there is an office space and there's a bedroom, but we don't have TVs in either. Office space is hers right now. She's doing work and bedroom. I don't want to go through the trouble of moving the TV in there. All right. Mmm, those, those low-res textures. Made all the worse on the stream, I'm sure, by the pixelation. I actually haven't gone back and looked at the previous streams that have been happening here for the Master Ninja playthrough, but I can only imagine how interesting they are. They, uh, look. I just got juggled by fireballs. What? I would have... He altered his trajectory. <laughs> That's not good. else want to play hardball? Let's see them play hardball. So here's a question. I'm not sure any of you are going to be privy to this information, but does anyone know if the animations in Ninja Gaiden, dead or, and Dead or Alive for that matter, are hand animated as opposed to motion captured? Because, I, I mean, I would assume most of the animations in this game can't be motion captured for... Gee, I wonder what gives me that impression, right? Um, I'm just curious. He actually got far enough away for that to not be useful. Ow. Ow. The animations in Ninja Gaiden have always been especially good, is basically all I'm getting at. Like, even by modern standards, the animations in Ninja Gaiden are really pretty awesome. Other games that um, use good animation, for example, or like um, one that has really good animation is Prince of Persia. And, like, uh, I forget, there's a fancy name for the way they did it in the original Prince of Persia. 
it was like they took they basically frame by frame animated DMC I'm sure uh, Prince of Persia was like they took someone who was actually moving and like frame by frame replicated it in, in the character animations in the game Ow. Why won't you die? <laughs> the immortal Van Gelf. Somewhere that's all of them. Cool. Pretty much any action game, if it doesn't have good animation, is kind of fails the test, shall we say. Is that it? No. What? <laughs> Were you? Okay. No, I have to switch. To, I have to switch to the bow. It's pretty. Oh, I don't have. K O F. What is K O F? Name's not ringing a bell. Well, this is a fight I actually... Unless there's a body with arrows lying around, I actually physically can't finish this fight. So, I'm just gonna go back, get more shuriken, heal up, and be done with this. King of Fighters? Yeah, I don't think I've ever played it. And then the modern Prince of Persia games, Sands of Time and all that, they were, um, they were mo-capped. Let's see, what's another one? I think they started doing mocap for, and as of like Halo Reach, they started doing mocap for face animations because I was like, they're, the biggest thing about Halo is that it always, always had bad facial animations. The first one, kind of in general, except for like how Master Chief moved, more or less, was also had really bad animations, but. It was only fairly recently that they've actually put significant any significant amount of time into their actual animation budget. Um. All right, there's another Van Gel fight coming up. I'll use that to get the first couple kills, I guess. Then switch to the lunar. Here, I'll go around this way since the actual... Oh, hello! Ow. 
Ow. What? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start skipping them because they re there really is no point to fighting them. There's like one other fight with them. Okay, that works. Got another one. They come in at a rate of like one per chapter, don't they? Yeah. Damn. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to you have to fight them there. The game gives you no choice. See, I don't remember. Okay, yeah, first off, let's go on these. I'm bad at I'm very bad at jumping onto these things. Platforming in these games in general is kind of a uh, uh hello. Yeah. That's like the biggest difference to, between this game and Ninja Gaiden Black in terms of how those work is just the fact that you can actually get so many of them and that they heal you. I think the exchange, don't they like give you, I think they might actually give you less um, health. I got distracted. Oh yeah, and there's some that are up there now. Okay, camera, 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 work with me a little bit. Yeah, I have so much essence right now. And I think it's the reason I have so much essence is because normally... I would probably have bought a lot more healing items, but I've been very good about saving them and just not bothering buying them. Um, let's see, there wasn't anything special here, right? Like, you can't go out that way, and yeah. And that is blocked off. Um... I mean, upgrading your health in general does make it easier. That's true of almost any action game that it's really hard to avoid damage in. Alright, there's a fight out here that I'm probably gonna skip. 
Um. Okay. It's like there's really only so much I can do if. There's only so much I can do if he keeps missing or hitting the wrong one. Okay, yeah. There's no way I can do that. Yeah, Wolf is... Yeah, I take on Volv seven days every day. Uh, I will say this though, he's actually, I actually found him to be one of the hardest ones to fight on the uh, mission mode. Because you fight him in, um, you fight him in, um, uh, in Zidonius's arena. Alexei is too year, Volv is too weak. Elizabeth is today, and Zodi and Zidonius is to leap day. Seriously, though, fuck Zidonius. I still have a fight coming up. I don't like Zidonius. Okay. So, Zidonius gave me more trouble than any other of the Graded Fiends on my Mincer playthrough. And it's because he kept summoning enemies. And when, he, when Zidonius summons enemies, he becomes a lot harder. Quick question while it's still in my mind. Um, is it still possible to stunlock Zidonius with the uh, Vigorian Flail? I don't think I need to heal. Also, yeah, you could if you use the standard X of the um, Vigorian Flail, you used to be able to just spam the first hit of the combo over and over again, and it would stun lock him, and you could do that to kill him. Okay, I'll try it. I won't be able to try it until the second fight, though, because you don't get the Vigorian Flail until after that. How do you stunlock Alexei? Ow. 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 Dragon Sword, Flying Swallow, XXY, Shuriken, XXY.
Yeah. It's probably the... Sinlocking Elizabeth is probably the same as Zidonius. Let me see if you can do that with... Yeah, I'm not so sure. Yeah, Alexei is actually. I'm not so sure about Alexei. Because I think he is way more. Whoever said he was random, I think it was. That seems about right. Maybe I want to use the claws instead. If the claws don't work, then I'll try the uh, sword. What? Also, his grab is really hard to avoid. Ow. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet. Yeah. About that. Yeah, no joke. And one of the, I think it was one of the dead or alive games when my friends had. I was able to stun lock them by doing like a quick light jab with someone. It was like a palm jab or something. Alright, I'm gonna stick to the swords. Fuck you. Alexei is probably the hardest boss at this point. Here, let's try the dragon sword. What's he doing first? Ah, uh, shit. Why not just kill him normally? Because I've been trying to kill him normally. He's kicking my ass. Oh well. Yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> Why don't you just try to kill him normally? Uh... About that. <laughs> Maybe I have to. Are you serious? Um, so no joke, that was actually kind of going surprisingly well, until I started flubbing up the inputs. I was like, wait, this is actually working? Why is this working? This isn't Ninja Gaiden Vanilla.
At least he doesn't grab you out of a flying swallow. Oh, yep. See, I was trying to do that. Like, the first time. And then it didn't work, and I immediately just tried to change strategies. I'm not very good at the Alexei fight. Point taken. Here, let me use a um, herb or two. I should have waited on that. But yes, yeah, spamming 360Y is usually what I do. I'm using the level 3 of 4 of the most powerful weapons in the, in the damn game. time invested in this game too I mean I actually have a save pile it's always all the way at chapter 9 or 10 on um, Master Ninja and I've done all but a dual swords playthrough well fuck you too Alexei Yeah, that sounds about right. It's actually what happened to me, too. I actually... I played Minter on this because, um... I had played Minter on this on a stream because I, um... My save file had gotten corrupted. And I... When I finished, I actually... In the middle of my Minter playthrough, actually, it got corrupted again. Or the game, something happened with the game such that I couldn't choose a new game of Mentor difficulty, but I still had the Mentor save file. So when I finished the Mentor save file, it unlocked Path of the Mentor and Path of the Master Ninja. Well, I hate Alexei. Oh boy. I imagine if you can master the stun lock on him, then he um, isn't too bad. I actually do have... I have like four healing items. Three herbs and our grains. Not to mention a... A... Um, tal a... Uh, Life of the Thousand Gods. See, it's shit like that that makes me hate this fight. He can near instantly close the gap and grab you. 
then fly away from you while you're still getting up, shoot lightning at you, and then when you dodge the lightning a few times, boom, gap closed, grabbed again, and dead. I actually... I actually did the inputs for... Um, yeah. I don't like Alexei. I did like... He grabbed me out of the 360Y. That's... <sighs> I've heard stories of people getting grabbed out of their flying swallow by this guy. Like, sometimes the AI just arbitrarily decides, Okay, you no longer have iframes right about here. Killed me again. <sighs> Grab. Grab. Stay far away and spam projectiles. Oh, you got half, you closed half that distance. Grab. It doesn't help that if I mess up the input slightly, then it does a similar looking move that doesn't have as many iframes. Three sixty plus Y, of course, and forward Y. Oh boy. Hey, I did it. Such is the fragility of evil. Ryu Hayabusa, you will pay for your sin. It looked like I was doing more damage to him after he covered himself in lightning. I don't know if that actually is what happened, but...
Yeah, that's right. You know, Wolf is one I'm going to refuse to use items in. I might even refuse to use items against him in the second time you fight him if, uh, if I don't use up all my Nimpo. Alright. Everyone ready for dual swords for days? Lycan limbs everywhere. Yeah, even at level 1, the o the UT on these things just rips through enemies. It's pretty crazy. So fragile, the lot of them. So weak. I cannot stand another minute of this tedium. You will find me a mighty adversary. You will bring before me an opponent worthy of I, Wolf. Greater fiend and ruler of storms, accomplish this, and you shall be made ruler of this land. Um, I don't think I know how to loop Wolf. I know all I, pretty much all I know is that at the very start, you dodge jump back and charge a 360 UT with the lunar. So I'm actually going to upgrade the lunar next. I'll probably keep the Dragon Sword at level 2 until it uh, gets the automatic upgrade. But yeah, no, I don't have I don't know how to loop Wolf. I don't know very many speedrun tricks. That's the one problem with using them against human enemies, is that it does tend to combo the same enemy. Too strong. Fail fish. Oh boy. What what have I done horribly wrong now? Teach me, Senpai. And that is the story of how NBA Mist decided to stop watching my streams. Uh, shit. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna get a shitload of essence from this chapter anyway. I could have sworn there was an item out there, though. 
if there's an item out there that I just it just missed for whatever reason, please let me know. Because I've got a little bit to go before I... Oh! I didn't see you guys there. How you doing? Leave me alone. Okay, that's fine. I probably needed to restart that fight anyway. I forgot that they spawned, and then I turned behind and looked towards the bridge like, uh, they're not there. And then I get, and then suddenly I'm on the ground and getting punched. Yeah, I was heading towards the items that were over there, and then, um, and then it didn't. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know the Volta Loop. That's, I think, the only important part about that. Shit! I'm guessing it's act if it works, it's probably slower, right? Like forties or something? What? Yeah, no. If you let me put it this way, if you can beat Path of the Mentor, you could probably beat Path of the Master Ninja. And if you can beat Path of the Warrior, then you're like maybe a quarter of the way through definitely being able to beat Path of the Mentor. And if you can beat Path of the Athol Acolyte, you can beat Path of the uh You can beat Path of the Warrior. All that is a fancy way of saying, if you can beat the Acolyte, you probably can beat Path of the Master Ninja eventually. But yeah, some parts are real endurance tests. Ready for the dumbest brick, most dumb enemies in the game? What? That was bull. Normally you can just. Normally they just let you charge up in their face. Okay. And you can get like two or three kills easily every time you use a UT. That. So, hi, Mr. Tight. So that was shitty.
I'd imagine if you can stun lock Elizabeth, you can probably still stun lock Wolf, Wolf not Wolf, uh, Z Zidonius. <clears throat> I mean, you can stun, you can loop Wolf. Yeah, I was more surprised by the fact that I got two full level UTs off and he missed chaining them both times. Ryu. Ryu. He was dead. Ryu, he's dead. You, you cut his head off. Ow. This should, this should work. Okay, it worked. Not quite as well as I would have hoped, but he he, he started running towards me, and I was like, "Oh God, what's?" The... Okay, they're dead. Their money makers. Hello, Kasari Gama. I completely forgot that you got that here. I actually really like the Kasari Gama. I like that it has a grab move that's an instant uh, D limb. Alright, where is he? I had no idea that was red essence. God damn it. Where's. Where's the enemy that's supposed to spawn? Hello? Shit. Furry Pursuer, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> There's enough of a delay that I didn't see that. Okay. Is that the Volf loop? I'd rather not watch that and throw off the stream right now. Um, okay, I knew there was something over here. Okay. What am I looking at? You say it's a Volf loop. Ultimate Ninja 1 time attack. All right, I'll look at that later. <laughs> there they are. Here's an idea. Maybe, maybe I should just come back for that fight after, after getting to the safe. That sounds like a smart idea. Because the Lycans and the ninjas are not difficult, but those guys, they do a lot of damage, and they're not exactly slow. I'm sure I've probably missed a crystal skull by now, right? Because it's I've got like 
I've got ten of them. I love that. Did I just do that? <laughs> my favorite, one of my favorite combos with the dual swords is um, you doing doing the combo for the flying swallow, and then you, instead of pressing Y right away, you delay it just enough for Ryu to start flipping back, and then it goes into a flying swallow that cuts them in half. Correct, correct. It doesn't really matter. I thought I would go ahead and get them all, since because of whatever issues that happened, I don't have them all. How many did I just kill with that? <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab those. starting to I lost it yeah yeah that's true some days it's really easy to destroy them and then other days their AI is just like nope you're not you're not gonna live nope I really need to prioritize the mages but then if I prioritize the mages and the green ninjas pull out their arrows <laughs> I need to just stop doing moves like the Flying Swallow. The um, swords have plenty of moves that are quick and delim and are fine. I've never played a game that has so many split-second decisions. Honestly. Like, it's really what it feels like you have to do in this game. Like, you're in the last hit of your combo, and you can choose to either do the Flying Swallow or the Azuna Drop, and you choose the Flying Swallow because it puts you in a better position to not get screwed. I think I heard the splunk of a head landing in the water. I 
All right. I'll take all that spare essence that's worth, like, nothing. I, it's 200 each. That's actually not insignificant. I'm kind of impressed. Alright, let's go... Before I do anything else, let's go grab that Kusarigama and upgrade the Lunar. Honestly, I think the Lunar looks better at level 2 than it does at level 3, but... Oh well. And I remember the chest has Nimpo in it. No need to worry there. Alright. How far out do you have to go to spawn this fight, I wonder? You have to go all the way out to the boat, don't you? Ah, still alive. Whew. So it's kind of your case in point about the enemies not always behaving the same, right? Alright, next group of Lycans. Here we go. Holy shit. Lone survivor. Ow. And that's why I always just spam the UTs on you guys. That was a pretty damn good UT. I wasn't expecting to kill all but one of them. And then I don't think destroying any of the tables gets you anything. Wasn't there a crystal skull around on this in this area? I don't remember. No, I guess not. Nope, it's right there. Alright, and then jump back. Yeah, you're not going to throw any body parts at me. Ok, 
God, these things are so dumb and awesome. Yeah, this is this is the chapter where you make all of your money. Quick, tell me what's in this chest. I'll wait. I'll compensate for the stream delay by waiting. Talisman? Cool. Oh shit, you liar! Should have charged the UT. No, the talisman's up here. <laughs> Along with those guys. Which you can only carry one, so I thought it'd be I thought it would be a little weird to have two talismans, but too late. Who's getting close first? What? Thank you for missing me with that body part. Spirit of the Devil, saving that for the Test of Valor. If I remember correctly, the Test of Valor here is, and for this chapter, is actually pretty brutal. And the good thing about these guys is I can just be like, Nyeh! Although they have a projectile attack, so I guess... Oh, shit. Oh shit, he's still alive. The UT. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's accurate. Oh, capital, more like the UT capital. I think this is a little. Life of the Gods, or is this a Spear Gun? Spear Gun. That's right. Yep. I'm just racking up all the items. At least they made the Spear Gun, uh... First off, they made it better. But they also made it a projectile weapon like it is supposed to be. All right, time for the B spam. Ugh. Well, this is a good time to drink my coffee. Which is more soy milk and chocolate soy milk than coffee at this point, but Finest action game ever made. 10 out of 10. Wait, is that it? Or are they going to spawn more as soon as I get close? I guess that's it. Yeah, I know about it. That's actually... 
I'm waiting for the uh, assholes to spawn. There they are. Oh, turn, 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 turn. Move, move, move. Is that it? Oh, there's still one more. Yeah, I got a manual aim for these guys. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Whew, that made me nervous. How do you constantly shoot? You actually have to keep pressing the B button. The good thing is that the hitbox for the shots is actually involve your body, so when you're in an area with ghost fish, you can just keep pressing the button and it'll actually kill the ghost fish as they try to grab you. Alright, here we go. Yeah, you can probably hear it if I had the controller closer to the microphone. Fortunately, you don't have to tap it very fast. I can tap it like this and it'll still work. Yep. I mean, to be fair, when it's actually in combat, this is probably the fastest paced action game I've ever played. So fast paced. Puts Mario Party 1 to shame, am I right? I remember my friend once put it. I was actually playing the first game. But once you get to a certain level, you know, I'm not saying I'm a high, particularly high level player, but I'm playing Master Ninja and I'm doing decent enough, I would say. Once you get to a certain point, um,. Your button inputs start to happen pretty rapidly, and you're pressing a lot of buttons every second or so. And the way he put it, he said, you're typing an essay on that controller. <laughs> and I was like, um, yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I forgot, you have to actually, like, get down to get in that one. Yeah. Alright. Mmm. Yeah, I really like the Kasari Gama, but I'm not sure I'm actually going to have a use for it. I really should consider switching to the Lunar for this next fight, since it's more Van Gels and Quetzalcoatls. Ow. That frame rate.
Or are those the Golden Dragon bosses? Are you talking- or I thought that was- I couldn't tell. Is that the name of the Golden Van Gels or is that the name of the Giant Dragons? Alright, so the only other weapons we're going to be getting right, are the Flails, the Scythe, and the Tumfas. Tumfas I want to upgrade, maybe, but they're going to be pretty damn useful right out the gate for Chapter 11. Scythe I want to have enough to upgrade right away, but the way I'm going, the way I'm going, I'm definitely going to be able to upgrade the Scythe as soon as I get to the first Muramasa. So, should I go ahead and spend money to upgrade the Kasari Gama? Okay. I, I thought they were the Golden Van Gelfs. Whatever. The Van, their point is Van Gelfs and Flying Van Gelfs. They're yellow. But should I give the Kasari Gama time to shine? I'm saying, should I spend? Go ahead and spend them. Oh. Here, let me let me change something real quick. I just turned down the uh, gain on my microphone a little bit. So. Oh. So I'm going to have enough essence, probably, to fully upgrade the scythe as soon as I get it. Tonfas, I don't really necessarily need to upgrade them all the way to get their awesome effect on the cap on chapter eleven. And the only other weapon left after that is the Vigor besides those is the Vigorian Flail. So should I go ahead and upgrade the Kasari Gama? One book for saving money. Alright. Well, if no one else does anything, I'm probably going to save the money. Bone. As in the Drunken Skeleton? I actually prefer to use the Lunar on the Drunken Skeleton. I'll go ahead and save them. Save the essence then. Isn't the the essence cap in this game is nine hundred ninety nine thousand ninety nine is nine 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 right? Like just short of a million, rather than uh, the Ninja Gaiden Black one of just sort of a hundred thousand. Uh, speaking of it being better to save. Yeah, I thought so. <clears throat> in that case, I'm not going to worry about having to spend essence like you do in black. Oh, that's right. I forgot that you had to go and get the key. One of those dumb... We used to be an adventure game, remember? Elements. <sighs> Who's coming forward first? Well, that's how you minimize my impact. Yeah. 
shit. The frame must the frames either I was just like a frame or two short or Whew. I forgot how strong white hands were. Like yeah, they're dumb and not particularly fast, but they hit damn hard. Good thing I saved. Good lord. Yeah, the problem, the thing that bothers me about when they throw body parts at you is sometimes they'll be like a hundred feet away from where there are any body parts and they'll just reach down into nothingness and pick up a torso or something like that and I'd be like well how can I argue against that Right? It's it's just you can't beat it. Ah, uh, I hate it when they jump. All right, I'm probably just gonna absorb the essence to. without even being you limbed am I in a loop spot or something I'm kind of essence farming. Falcon Talon's actually surprisingly the only useless thing about almost useless thing about the Falcon Talons is the uh, UT. Um, 
as soon as I get to the save point by the test of valor, I'm probably going to go ahead and stop. That's a little bit away. That's like that's also just sort of the boss. Because this test of valor coming up is hard. Fine. Shit. Too early. true. It's not that much more narrow, though. But the biggest appeal is going to be that it's away from the body parts. Or it's away from a spot where they can easily hit me with the body parts. Haven't had those in a while. Alright, more coming. Well. Shit. Too early. What? What? Again, that was a nice example of the body parts coming out of nowhere. Nice example of body parts going out of nowhere. I clearly never killed any of them anywhere near where that one threw that arm at me. So let's see. After this hallway and bridge, there's going to be the, lower, the bridge that you have to lower by shooting arrows. That's pretty bullshit. I would like to think that if this game was made a generation later, they would have made it. They would have actually made it so that they would have to be go over to an actual body part laying around to do that. But or maybe if they had more development time. It's always my biggest wonder: is what would have happened if this game had more development time? Another one that I wonder is what the hell happened to Dark Souls 2, but that's that's its own fun topic. Wow. Way to miss. Like, I know I'm getting less essence by doing that, but there are so many Lycans in this. Oh god, here there, here there are more. You get, okay, you get more essence from a UT kill. Um, okay, you get less, you get more essence for, or a lot more essence for a UT kill, but if you absorb the UT essence, you get less essence than you would if you just absorbed it for normal. So if you absorb it for a UT. More? Yep. I must have been accidentally making them respawn. Because there are way more, or way less here than there were before.
Whatever. Which, you know, less essence is better than no essence. I used to think you actually... get. I used to think you got no essence for it. Oh, that's actually really neat. I never noticed that. That's the bridge that you cross to go into the Colosseum. I never noticed that before. Alright. <sighs> go slowly for a little bit to get the, um... Where the thing, those things are called spawn. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Yeah. And then there's nothing over in this wide area. It's just kind of here to give you more space for water combat, I guess. Right. Then... More button mashing. Let's see, I get... I go through here, this building... And that's going to put me right outside the building that has the wine cellar, right? And then I take, I go through the wine cellar. That's where I get Fire Phoenix Nimbo. Right. They could have made a test of valor out of this. Yeah, I heard they took out water combat, which I would put that as overall a positive, probably. Does that mean they also took out the, um... Did they also take out the, um, ghost fish that are right before the water dragon? Or did they take out the water dragon, too? So you have no spear gun, and you still have to deal with the ghost fish? That sounds terrible. There's gotta be one or two I missed, right? No, it looks like I actually got them all. And, um, well, the water dragon fight, you don't, I don't actually fight it with the ghost fish, I fight it with the bow. So, <laughs> where does that leave me? Alright, guys, quick question, am I missing anything? Am I missing anything from this area? Because I would like to know. I just want to know before I drop down and can't return.
Okay, so just the life of a thousand gods? Okay. Oh, there's a ladder here. <laughs> Touche, unwary. Touche. Um, yeah. The, uh... No, seriously, though, this is fun. So, yeah, I've got two lives of a thousand gods now. And I'm also full life of the gods. I'm probably going to have a full nine life of the gods, which means that I'm going to have three items to fully heal with for the test of valor. Where's, where are you? Yeah, no. Oh, you get the flails in chapter three? Hmm. That's pretty cool. Oh, hello area I haven't seen before. This is kind of here to be pointless. Hmm. That's interesting. Next fight. Should be using the lunar for these guys. I wasn't actually expecting to do that fight right away. Unfortunately, I can't backtrack the save. <laughs> oh boy. So I have to do this fight. So twirly. Wow. That was quick. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try the Lunar for this fight instead of the, uh, instead of the Dual Swords, even though the Dual Swords were working quite well.
now. Yep. Kind of regretting my decision now. Okay. Well, at least I survived that round. Still kind of sucks that I can't backtrack, though. I don't think I have anything to buy from Muramasa, right? I'll go ahead and make sure I'm full on all these. Or maybe not. That's, that's a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. That is the last Muramasa shot before the Test of Valor, though, so I'll probably, once I'm done with this area, make sure then I'm good. What? Okay. Not cool. to where I want to stop. Well, my essence is kind of staggered now.
Yeah. Shit. Why do I even bother? They hit. <laughs> they hit so fucking strong. <laughs> mode where you can use UT instantly but it drains your karma. Um, I believe that's called uh, Falcon Talon spam. If not Azuna spam. Hell, people use the Azuna drop probably just as much if not more than they use uh Of course he targets the one that's off on its own. <laughs> unwary had a point about me having fun with the game. I mean, to be fair, I have, like, I'm sitting on basically two life upgrades. <laughs> There does kind of come a point when playing this game where it's kind of like watching Ninja Assassin. Watching Ninja Assassin and occasionally pressing a couple buttons on your on a controller. not getting off that easily. Some things are just a little bit off there. This game is... No, no, no. <laughs> this game can be very unfair. 
Like, I... Maybe not so much on lower difficulties. But... Like, Mentor on higher, I think it gets downright unfair sometimes. Especially with the explosion spam. Not just... Not just incendiary shurikens, just the arrows, too. still closed. Well, I have enough to fully upgrade the scythe. I'm thinking, like, anytime you get grabbed immediately out of, like, a Izuna drop or something like that. Like, those are valuable- Azuna drops are valuable moves because they have a shitload of iframes. They have i seconds, for Christ's sake. And they'll hit you in the middle of them. And they'll grab you as soon as you're out of one. Alright, those guys are not spawning. I'm done with those guys now. I'm so fucking done with them. Alright. Here goes. Well, if something had to grab me, I would rather be the Van Gelf. Whoa! Wouldn't be so bad if the door didn't close behind you. <laughs>
Without the UT spam, this fight would be kind of bullshit. Even with the UT spam, it would be kind of bullshit. One tail swipe away from getting killed. I like my odds. Also, if you look closely, those things have boobs, because of course they do. I would have been fine if he had absorbed the essence for his UT like I wanted him to. Notice he absorbed the essence and then put his hands towards the swords like he was going to charge a UT. for that one. Yeah, I know. But here's the thing. I'm usually able to... Except for the past couple of times, I'm usually able to just charge up a UT with the dual swords and then... 
<sighs> the swords are plenty strong enough. What? Enemies hitting me in the frames so that I am unable to do anything whenever the UT misses. Ah, wrong way. Well, it's more like I'm being stubborn. It's not that I don't appreciate help attempts to help me, dude. I'm tired of repeating this part. Ye yes, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. If I didn't, that's another grains I get to have, so that's cool. Let's see here. I'll backtrack that way. Also, I must have picked up some... Oh, no, 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 that's right. I haven't been hit since I used the grains. <sighs> the 
let's see. I'm gonna double check and make sure I'm not missing anything up here. I don't believe I am. Okay. And then that. I'm not gonna bother with that fight yet. Nothing in here. I have a lot of essence. Uh, there's nothing else in here. I've already gotten that. Oh, okay. Interesting, that's where the other room was. Wraps around. Yeah, there's no other chest in here. I will go ahead and buy a grains to replace the one I used, though. I have all these healing items, and I'm, like, stubbornly refusing to use them. And as a result, my essence count is fantastic. Oh. That feels good. That was nice. There's what? Maybe one left? Nope. That's it. And some more essence for my troubles to make up for pretty much everything. Oh, that feels nice, man. Alright. Time to drop down and go save. Quite a distance to drop. Okay. Alright. That's where I said I would get. Let's take a peek at this test of valor just so I can have an idea of what it's going to be. I think I know what it is, but. Yep. Dogs and Lycans. Thank you, Team Ninja. Look, dude. As many fights as there are between the last save point, which you can't backtrack to, and this save point... No. <laughs> I don't mind the fact that I just uh, saved. That's one hit. Yeah, no. No, I'm not doing that now. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the stream now. So, thanks for coming out and watching.